And finally, after eight years, come to the final, final model for the run. 180, Borg Cube. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here. We're in the Star Trek, the official Starship Collection model and magazine review. And for you ASMR viewers out there, I'm just going to open this one up for you. This is by Eagle Moss, obviously. Oh, it feels so good opening it. Oh, it was amazing opening it. Trust me, I'm not going to branch off onto ASMR videos. I think they're silly. But each their own. So, <laughs> Borg Cube. But we've had a Borg Cube. We had the one that came with a subscriber one, which was too big. Well, about that sort of size, a subscriber, which lit up inside, which is great. We also had the one which was the Japanese only. I haven't got one. They're too expensive. If, if Eagle Moss would re please release the Japanese one, you must have got the, the blueprints, the, the files somewhere. Please sell it as, as an XL. Please sell it as, as some, it's cause the price, there are none available online. You cannot find them. And when they come on, they either go for stupid money or you just can't get hold of them. So let's get on with the final model and magazine review from Eagle Moss. So we end up with the Borg Cube from First Contact. This is not the first Borg Cube we ever saw. This is um, actually not even the last one we saw because we saw the one in Picard. Ah, okay, that's interesting. We're about to say the first and the last one, but no, it's, it's not the first and not the last. The original one looked more pipe work. This has, has got it's a lot of detail on here. But we don't know. Dimensions is 3037 cubic meters. So it's three, so three kilometers by three kilometers by three kilometers. So let's have a look. All I'm gonna look out for on here is that it's the launching pod for the Borg Sphere. Which the um, Borg the Borg Queen tried to escape with and then beamed onto the Enterprise. Or was it that that launched? As a diversion and then they're beamed on from there don't know probably the um the beat run the the, the severe and then the enterprise e and almost destroyed that ship so cutting beams disruptor beams projectiles okay pulsion transwarp well technically they didn't they probably had a transwarp generator somewhere inside which then opened the conduits which is what they evolved from the star trek 3 first time we heard transwarp was with the excelsior which were the the transwarp engines would power it to ridiculous speeds whereas it evolved into this with opening the conduits so let's have a look aha is that admiral hansen yeah. So, Admiral Hansen, that's not Admiral Hansen. He's from, yeah, he, 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 oh, Admiral Hansen was, was Star Trek Next, sorry about that. Next Generation, Best of Both Worlds. That is Admiral Hayes, Vice Admiral Hayes, telling Picard that he's not, they did keep him away, didn't they? They didn't want Picard in my name because they thought he was a liability. But he ended up going, ah, stuff you. I'm gonna do it anyway. I mean, this, on some levels with this, with the Borg Cube, in first contact, it changed the way that the Borg were. We thought there were thousands of people on here, they all thought the same, they transmitted their thoughts from another Borg Cube somewhere else, they all thought the same. Every one of the Borg thought the same. Instead, they put a queen in the middle and made them into a bee. So one person would control the entire collective, which was a little different. Oh, there's an advert for you. Star Trek Official Collection. Yeah, it goes on as Discovery, Discovery, and... Oh, it's just for the website, that, isn't it? After amazing 180 scale models of the greatest Star... Yeah, Star Trek Starships, a lot of them weren't. 
has now come to an end. Yeah, we know, we know, we know. But we're still doing it online. We're still doing... We will be doing eventually Discovery again. Other exclusives and XLs. Yeah, we're going to think about XLs. Yeah, if you want a promo, promo code to the stars, we all get that. That's fine. This is just a... a a piece of paper which has been printed to everybody that gives you 10% off but I'm sure you could get 10% off at checkout no matter what so oh hold on Sartic Collections coming in 2020 uh, the Sartic community uh, coming to the end oh so there isn't no I thought something was new then with all new Star Trek collections coming in 2021 hmm so is that going to be a Picard? Is that going to be an extension on Discovery? Is this going to be the Lower Decks ships from that? I don't know. Is Star Trek IV the um, JJ, um, yeah, JJ Prize stuff coming out soon? don't know. Let's see what happens. So they are planning something more for Star Trek next year. And that's if you're watching that this year when I've released the video and not next year when... Or the year after, after two years of the... Uh, you know where it is. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. So, this is the Borg at the Battle of 001. The Defiant there. Sabre class over here. Uh, actually, does that look like an upside down? No, that's got to be another one of these. The Steamrunner class. Does that looks like an Enterprise refit upside down? Can't be. Can't be. There's the Borg Queen, Alice Krieg played her, and then there were another actress who played her in Voyager. Then she reprised the role in the last episode as well, which was nice. Very nice. It's, it's so kind of random, but I don't think it is. I think, well, we'll find out when we get out to get the model. We'll, we'll compare each side, but very different. What? the heck is that? Came okay, with this obelisk of the new type of Borg vessel. That's different. Very different. I mean, similar sort of stuff that came from the Picard series. This is very much like that. It's a very high definition, high detailed model that's in the Picard series. If you haven't watched it, it's pretty good. Unless you don't like Picard, then it's pretty rubbish. But I thought it was pretty good anyway, so I was I was really happy with it. Some bits that the series kind of went a little bit on a tangent with, and then the <clears throat> the cliffhanger at the end. All I can say is then when you watch the titles at the beginning, all the series is there. Just watch that, and you'll understand. If you've already seen the series, then you'll understand as well. But again, some more concept ideas for Borg. We have had... We've had... One that was rectangular. There was one that looked like a potato as well, to be honest, which was a bit, little bit weird. But that you could possibly think... That's almost like two stuck together. That you could, like, eight sections could come out and attack. I don't know. Mine goes wild when you haven't got the thing in front of you. That you could just evolve the species a lot. Borg. We are the Borg. See, that scene as well, that weirded me out a little bit. The tech in the time constructing this interplexing beacon on top of the navigation deflector. Got that one right. And it just seemed a little bit slow. Surely they could have replicated all this stuff on here and then told the Borg of the 20th century to come and get them. But no. Why have they got bird feeders? Oh, no. These are bird feeders. <laughs> okay, fine. They have used a lot of things. The best one I always, I always thought was in uh, the f episode one of um, of Star Wars: Phantom Menace. Is that the communicator that Qui Gon Jinn had? I was like, what is that? Well, that that looks familiar. And it's a it's a Gillette razor handle, and there's no denying what it was. You could see it quite easy on the screen. The rubber bit where the handle was and the, the clips on the top which hold the blade in place. But reusing normal day stuff 
for futuristic stuff. It's even original series did it as well. Original series of Star Trek, they used the uh, squirty guns that we have everywhere now, but that was a, a futuristic thing. And it was actually quite, an, not an exclusive thing back then, but it was kind of a, yeah, we'd, we'd, they'd got them in the in 1960s, more nowadays, everything comes in a squirty bottle. But it was kind of weird how now technology was used then, was used, yeah, used, yeah, no, I wouldn't say oddly, but it was kind of funny, really, looking back on these things. So we have ending up the ball cube. First appearance was in first contact with this type class of, of cube or detail work of it. So we have no 181 on the back, back of here, because this is it. So Star Trek collection has Discovery, Shenzo, why, is, why isn't the Shenzo, oh, these are XL versions, aha, Future Enterprise, yeah. Okay, then you've got your Discovery collection, still ongoing, and you have your online, which I'm doing as well anyway, so I think we've done, we've done all three of these so far today. There's a few more coming out, I'm sure, maybe about 20, maybe 30 in the collection, but we'll get them as they're coming along. Ball cube on the back. Now I'll stop waffling. Let's get the final one of these out. Let's hope the number is 0001A slash A on the base. Oh, they're tormenting me with it. I can't see the base. And it is A6. Ah, 557. Five, a slash A. So at least I end up with an A slash A. Not that the last two without A slash B. Fine. Give to one side. Right, it's a square. Thank you very much. Good night. No. Let's get you in a little bit. See, this isn't too bad a size. Maybe I can't get it. It is the size of the palm of my hand, just about. It's not too big, it's not too small. You put the Enterprise D next to this, and you, you need to do perspective when that's in the distance. Enterprise D is getting closer to it, but this is still like 10 miles away from him. But you couldn't. Yeah, you could, but you couldn't believe that this would be the same size, same way, distance away from the Enterprise D model and get away with it. Right, let's start here with the vent. It is, it's quite detailed. You've got a lot of green paint work, paint dabs on there. This is not like they've repeated six sides, stuck them all together. Let's go to the left. There is a grill there, similar to that, but being gone over a little bit. There's also these strange section here. Let's go around again. Again, maybe a grill? No. No major grill. Just a quick one before we actually get into more detail. More green lighting work, which looks like it's moss, to be honest. And I'll have a guess that is the launching pod for the Borg Sphere. Then we have the bottom. It's not too bad at all. And then the top. Similar sort of rectangle where the corner took out. As what we saw earlier, another piece there. Well, let me get you in some detail work. There's a, there's a lot of just... Uh, it's not thrown together detail work, but it's kind of... There's a lot of work on here, but it's very, I'd say repetitive on some bits, but it's its nice repetitive. I mean, it's hard to show this as close up. You've got all the green. There would have been a lot more lighting on this model. I mean, I can even do the, the lighting here. Look, I've got the standard lights above me, and that's directly in front of the camera. There's kind of a shine to it, even though it's black. Tilt it forward, it kind of it gives it a different dimension. Too much light there, yes, but then that's nice that. And you come down. Very matte black there, but then shiny black. So it's got a good different angles, you could tell different things on this. This is really nice. I mean, yeah. It kind of reminds me. 
if you've ever watched the the Hellraiser film series, it looks like one of those boxes that had that you open up the um, yeah the, the the key to hell. If you're under eighteen, don't watch them. They're quite scary. If you're over eighteen, why haven't you watched them? Maybe go up to about three, maybe four in the series. I think number four was I'm not quite sure, but number three was okay. Number one and two. They look dated, but they're, they're pretty good films. The, the effects is amazing. But yeah. Here's the board cube coming towards you. Out of focus. I bet you there's some things we can see in here. If I look hard enough, we'll figure out exactly what they are. Oh, that's a scratch. Like it might be. Yeah. And that side's got a lot of green around. Shin there's not more, but I could easily add some more green if I wanted to. Get some paint, get a get it very lightly dabbed on, because that side's got virtually nothing, little bit here, there, and everywhere. And that's got a lot more on it. So yeah. We finally get the second ball cube in the series. Still missing Eagle Moss, still missing the Japanese only variant of the XL. Please release it. Please release it. It'll be so, you would have so many. You've built this up from the beginning, from 2012. We had the larger board cube, and the Japanese had this, I think it was a tiny bit smaller, but there's a, there was this much detail, if not more detail on that. And I think it lit up as well. So please release that to the UK, to the to America, to everybody. Instead of just the Japanese, we haven't got exclusive over here. So please, please, please. Why is that silver? I rubbed off already. No, that's just silver parts. Another one there as well. Yeah, please release that, that larger one. It would be, yeah, for, for eight years worth of build up, you'd, you'd sell thousands and thousands to us lot. So um, please build them and we'll and just take our money. So there we go, 180 Eagle Moss Starship reviews done. <sighs> I'm kind of glad it's over with, but I know there are bonuses. I know there are specials. I know there are XLs, online, Discovery. It, it's still continuing, but for 180 times, these have been, yeah, been a good, good little um, video for me to be honest. These quite regular every month. Bit of a bit of thing as well. I actually noticed on Memory Alpha the website memory-alpha.fandom.com. Look on there for, for for Star Trek. It's um, there's a picture of a shuttlecraft on there. So I think Christmas may be the next shuttle shuttle pack set. Could be wrong but it has got a picture of a shuttle on one of the Eagle Moss bases. Actually, I'll have a look. I'll have a look for that. To be honest, it'll take me too long to find it. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on social media, and I will see you in another video. Actually, it's a shuttle drone for set seven. Love that Christmas. And thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.